hello everyone hope you are right in today's video i'm going to show you update on my garden makeover as you might know we moved into this house almost two months ago and the garden was all lawn with a narrow border with mature shrubs and trees which you can see they are well established and they are starting to burst into leaves and birds and soon they will be all covered and look really beautiful but i did want to bring my own interest in the garden as i like to grow all sorts of vegetables flowers and fruit so i wanted to make the garden uh, over to my own interest and needs so we removed most of the grass leaving a circular lawn in the middle and we installed these two wooden arches which are from garden forest really good quality and look absolutely beautiful and we put this walkway which leads into the circular lawn so making it a focal interest so you want to go into the garden and explore what's around i planted this box plants around the circular lawn so I want them to develop into a hatch, a small hatch or at least topiaries. So we will see how they grow. And you can see we have put these paving stones around the garden. Not quite circular, no, more in a zigzag manner because the borders are quite wide now. So we can maneuver around the borders using these circular paving stones or stepping stones you can say and they look absolutely stunning and beautiful lifted the whole garden and bring a uh, woodland interest to the garden kids really enjoyed stepping on them and i think you want a garden for the whole family where there is something for everyone so we have this circular lawn in the middle where we can sit down in summertime to soak in some sunshine. Kids can have a little picnic here. We have wide borders to plant our fruit trees and shrubs, perennial plants and annuals as well. As this side gets the most sunlight during the day, I installed three raised beds where I will be planting my vegetables here this raised bed i have planted with strawberry plants which i brought from my previous garden and you can see i have two crop planters with strawberry plants in them and a mint planter i'm still looking to sort them out so it will take some time to put them in their proper place i have got this uh, grow bag where i planted my lettuce in autumn and it survived the winter so i'm going to plant these lettuce plants in this raised bed and these two red beds i will be planting my spring crops like radish turnip lettuce spinach etc i need to move these cyclamen plants to the front of the border so we can have a good side of them and i have put my uh, plum tree here which i will be planting here in the crown instead of cyclamens and uh, soon it will be um, big enough to provide us with lots of plums we put this uh, bird bath here and it is really beautiful bird bath handmade and we got it locally um, i will be trimming this shrub a little bit so the bird bath is more visible and i think it looks stunning in here will bring more wildlife to the garden we have got this root tree here which could be cherry or plum tree we'll soon know once it starts to flower and leaf out we have got two apple trees which are well developed and mature so we can expect a good harvest of apples later on in the season i put this blueberry plant which is in the container here and uh, you know blueberries and zilias camellias these kind of shrubs they need acidic soil so i'm not quite sure about the soil here yet so i'm keeping it in the container for now and i'll see how it goes and i have lined up my garlic 
plants here um, they are in grow bags and one planter so i planted them in the autumn uh, not all of them came out but still plenty of them so i have lined them up here for now my hookahs are here so i'll be planting my hookahs here because this is quite shady corner under this holly plant and near to schemia and that rose plant so i'll be planting my hookahs here i put my apple tree here so i'll be planting it in the ground as you can see there is space here uh, it has blown away by winds as we had really horrible storms this winter but hopefully once it go in the ground i can stake it and it will be nice and sturdy i trimmed this uh, laurel tree and then i realized i know this fragrance which was coming out of leaves so i looked into it and to my surprise it's a bay tree laurel bay which can be used in cooking we use it in asian cooking and good thing i have it in my garden now so i did save some leaves this rhododendron was planted by previous owner and it's not looking quite good i'll give it a season to see how it performs and if it struggles i may dig it out and put it in the container as you know that rhododendrons azaleas these kind of shrubs need acidic soil we have got lavender plants in these small containers which i will be planting in the ground uh, four of them will go here and this one will go in the front patch and there i have got random animals and plants which i will be planting in the garden here is my grapevine one here and one there so that will be going here uh, next to the arch one on this side and one on the other side so i'll be planting it soon put my containers with junipers in them on each side of the arch and i'll see if i plant them in the ground or not i'll give them some time to see how they go this is my azalea plant not doing quite good so i'll be putting it in a big container and fertilizing it with acidic compost here is my jasmine plant and i'll plant here on this side of the arch so on one side of the arch i have got this rose plant which will climb on here and on the other side this jasmine plant will go on this side and i will plant my grapevines on each side of the second arch so i have two which are quite well established i put my daffodils um, in the containers when i was moving the house and they are doing good so i have got one here and more of them here so i have just lined them up by the wall for now once they are done i'll dig them out and put them in another place in the garden and i can use these planters for growing my veggies here is aliens in this big container i have got my camellia plant and hardy moms um some of these will go in the ground and here is my nectarine tree which i will be planting in the corner there next to the bird bath and there are some spring onions around it which i'll be using very soon some more planters with random things in there and most of them will go in the ground so you can see the garden is starting to develop now i have got my plants here and i need to sort them out in a couple of weeks time and hopefully it will be looking beautiful as the season progresses and the plants will be happy in their new home and if you want to stay updated please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye